Cybersecurity Intel Brief June 29, 2023 by Jeffrey Kong. Reporting on June 29, 2023. A phone tracking app spying on thousands, Let Me Spy, A says it was hacked. A widely used phone monitoring app called Let Me Spy has been hacked, and a hacker has gained access to user data. Let Me Spy is an app used to spy on Android phone users around the world, often marketed for parental control or employee monitoring purposes. The app is designed to stay hidden on a phone's home screen, making it difficult to detect. The security breach occurred on June 21, and the company behind Let Me Spy confirmed that unauthorized access to user data had taken place. The hacker obtained email addresses, telephone numbers, and the content of messages collected on user accounts. Let Me Spy is considered a form of stalkerware or spouseware, as it is typically installed without the person's knowledge or consent by someone with physical access to the phone, such as a spouse or domestic partner. Once Let Me Spy is installed on a phone, it secretly uploads text messages, call logs, and precise location data to its servers, allowing the person who planted the app to track the individual in real time. However, these types of surveillance apps are known for their security vulnerabilities and mistakes. Over the years, many spyware apps have been hacked or have exposed private phone data of unsuspecting victims. The breach was first reported by a Polish security research blog called Niebezpiecznik, and when the blog contacted Let Me Spy for comment, the hacker behind the breach responded instead. The hacker claimed to have gained extensive access to the spyware maker's domain and stated that they had deleted Let Me Spy's databases stored on the server. A copy of the hacked database later appeared online. DDo Secrets, a non-profit collective that indexes leaked datasets, obtained a copy of the hacked Let Me Spy data and shared it with TechCrunch. Given the amount of personally identifiable information in the cache, DDo Secrets limited the distribution of the data to journalists and researchers. TechCrunch reviewed the leaked data and found records of at least 13,000 compromised devices. The data included years of call logs and text messages dating back to 2013. Additionally, over 13,400 location data points were found for several thousand victims, with the majority of victims located in the United States, India, and Western Africa. The leaked data also contained the spyware's master database, which included information about 26,000 customers who used the app for free and the email addresses of customers who purchased paid subscriptions. The motives and identity of the hacker behind the Let Me Spy breach are unclear. However, it is evident that a significant amount of personal data has been compromised, posing a risk to the privacy and security of Let Me Spy users.